Sydney Suzanne from Naomi's Home Health. I am a natural health coach helping you to live a cleaner lifestyle so you can feel better, look better and have longevity in your well-being. So do you know or understand why you may have an addiction to coffee, chocolate, energy drinks? Now one of the major things when we talk about this with my clients when we talk about coffee and a lot of them have this addiction to some form of coffee or energy drink because caffeine chocolate there's caffeine and chocolate because they're tired they lack energy so they feel they need the coffee to give them that boost and when i talk about this it, tr it triggers them so bad like if I start, drop in the comments if you understand, like if I was to say to you, you know, let's stop drinking coffee, what would you say to me? Tell me in the comments. I don't care if you're brutal. Um, I'm, I don't go and tell everybody to stop drinking coffee if they come to me. I can tell you that right now. But we do talk about coffee consumption and what it does to the body. And what it does is it gives your adrenals, it it gives them an adrenaline, it, they produce an adrenaline surge. So you get this surge of adrenaline. So you're going to feel really good. Ice baths do the same thing. You get this real big surge of adrenaline. That's your energy. You're like, yes, I have this energy. This is why I drink coffee because it makes me feel good. What then has to happen later during the day is you get a big drop. So you get a real drop in energy. So you find, well, I'm going to need another coffee. So this is why we start to drink coffee after coffee because we're looking for that adrenal surge, that adrenaline, that how it makes us feel. And then we get the drop later. So then, you know, this is why you may have trouble sleeping. Even if you just have one coffee, even if you just have one energy drink, energy drinks should be banned. They are full of caffeine, sugar, preservatives, horrible ingredients and you get that surge and then you're going to get that drop so not only is it going to give you or possibly give you you know a lack of sleep restless sleep you might get to sleep well but you wake up um, later it dehydrates the liver it's extremely acidic as well we want to alkalize the body so drop it in the comments if any of this is making sense to you. Share this with someone. If it triggers you, I'm sorry, but there's a reason it's triggering you. It's like, it's because you're so, you, you feel like you need that coffee, you need that adrenaline surge. There's so many ways you can gain energy without drinking coffee. Now, I'm not on here to promote not drinking coffee. I'm about just here to educate you on what it is doing to your body and, what, and why you may feel some certain things if you are a coffee drinker or a um, chocolate eater. It is an addiction because you're addicted to how it makes you feel. And you get this surge, like I said, then you might get a drop. You may get the lack of sleep, but you, you might also get, it also depletes your magnesium stores. And I think it's iron as well, magnesium and iron. So if you are lacking magnesium and iron, you might get um, restless legs. At night, coffee can actually block the absorption of that. So it's not just about giving you a surge of energy, it's about what else it does. Dehydrating the liver. If the liver is dehydrated, it's not going to function properly. Alcohol does the same thing. So. We are looking to hydrate the liver at a, at a cellular level by drinking fresh juices, eating cucumber, watermelon, <clears throat> oranges, lemons. These are hydrating, lemon water, filtered water. Um, but yeah, so the reason that you're addicted to coffee is this adrenal surge. And then if you have another one, you're getting back to that adrenal surge. And this is why you can either start to drink too much coffee or you become addicted to it because you're looking for how it makes you. I'm just going to how it makes you feel also you can get mood swings irritability because you've got that surge of adrenaline and then when you drop it actually is an imbalance in in hormone hormone production so you can be yeah, like i said irritable you can get an excess uh, level of estrogen and low progesterone that also causes issues with your reproductive system not only that this hormone imbalance when you get this adrenal surge your liver then has to detox it so your liver is working overtime to detox this extra 
adrenaline that you've got going through your body. That's why sometimes coffee might make your heart race or it might make you feel jittery. It might make you talk really fast. It might make you really tired later, but it's really important to find out how it does make you feel an hour, two hours, four hours later, because it is the coffee that's doing it to you. Do you get really thirsty within the next few hours? Apples are really hydrating. So if you do drink coffee, make sure you drink plenty of water. Make sure you have some hydrating foods like an apple or two at least um, just to rehydrate the body. But it's about balancing the hormones and not having that adrenal surge. So what else can it do? It can eventually help you um, create weight gain. Because this excess adrenal surge, right, we get this excess adrenaline, the, the adrenals are working over time. What your body thinks then is it's in fight or flight. It's in survival mode. So adrenals are your fight or flight system where, you know, whether you're scared, whether you're getting attacked, whatever it is, that's your adrenals. They hit that adrenaline surge to keep you going and it's a protection mode. So then what happens Again, like I said, you get the drop later, but your body being in fight or flight mode and the adrenals out of balance, then you start to get a bit of weight gain around the middle. So sometimes if coffee isn't your thing and you have excess weight around the middle, around the bum, hips, tummy, that can be because you're doing things for your adrenals, to your adrenals, excess exercise or the wrong type of exercise can do it. I'm not saying don't exercise. Exercise is important, but doing the right exercise for you and for your adrenal health is important. So this is something that it's something to think about and to understanding why you feel like you have to have that coffee when you go, oh, I'm not going to drink coffee anymore. But then you have one anyway. Trust me, I, I'm not a big coffee drinker, but I, I become I started to drink coffee when I didn't sleep and I was really unwell. So not knowing what it does, I started to drink it, waking me up in the morning to get the kids ready for school. And then I felt like I needed that coffee. My goodness, child, stop ringing. <laughs> and I felt like I needed that, that adrenaline surge. But what it was, it was putting me into a deeper state of hormone imbalance. So this is really important for you to understand just so you know so you know what it's doing to you so you know why you're reaching for that coffee all the time maybe reduce it by one each day if you drink five coffees a day start drinking four and just reduce it till you're down to one whatever it is alcohol does the same like i said energy drinks are even worse they affect the heart they affect the liver they affect the adrenals they affect the balance in your good and good and bad bacteria in your gut chocolate not as bad but there is this is the reason that you are addicted to it because you get that surge of hormones going through your body so if this has made sense to you at all drop it in the comments and let me know I, I get a lot of people say I saw your video but I don't know that they're watching I love to know who's watching like the video comment on it so I know that I'm giving you the right information and that you're resonating with it because this is what it's for this is educating you this is my sole purpose I understand I know this this is what I'm here to do is to help people understand what's going on in their body and how they can prevent certain things happening so if you're struggling with sleep weight gain around the middle hormone imbalance all these things these are what I know best adrenals don't get discussed enough in the medical system at all at all in the medical system natural health therapists i've been to a lot of them not really touching on adrenal health they sort of go straight to the source if you've got a thyroid issue they're like okay let's give you selenium for the thyroid if you take it a few steps back and you go to the liver and the adrenals the thyroid will fall into balance so we want to look at you know taking it back to where it's all coming from stress what you're eating, what you're doing, what exercise you're doing, all of these things. So drop it in the comments if I made sense and share this with somebody if it may benefit their health.